double queuing in the popper challenge. This should be easy. Woof. Hey, Mord, we put more lands in our deck and we immediately flooded. We should cut lands. Is this put back a land? Um, I think this is put back a land, right? Put back a vial? Okay. But more, we're against a Gigantha deck. Like, what are they going to do? As a control player, Johnny Mnemonic, and in my soul, I always am a control player. Um, it's definitely screw. Flooding doesn't bother me. Oh. So this should be really easy, right? Wow. Uh, there's a combo, Shuto Shotokan. It's non-deterministic, so. Didn't I just tell you that, Johnny? Or am I... Oh, no, I yeah, I'm more afraid of screw. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. Nobody's telling you they're afraid of flooding. I think people who play a deck like this would be Blast Zone. Sure. Yeah, that's not a Tron land. <gasps> Mismatching Tron lands. So, wow. Uh, we go cast matron. Get run belt. Vile run belt. Sack matron. And away we go. <laughs> Sometimes it's just too easy, huh? What are we doing? We're winning. Wow! Uh, we get War Marshal here. Or... I get... Yeah, it's War Marshal, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, it's okay. It's okay. Should have floated some mana. It's okay. We can keep going off after combat, which means we have to kill them with Pachalik. They're at seven, so it's not hard to do. But I did not mean to click okay there. Fanatics a redraw. Skirk's a redraw. Yikes. There we go. Whew. So let's go red. No, let's go cast Warchief by sacking Warchief. Ringleader.
How many cost reducers do I need in play? I guess we can probably sack a run belt here with uh, playing a ringleader. Yeah, Chiefs red in the black one, but what would I rather have after this ringleader? Two run belts, or you'd only need one cost reducer. Okay, it's fine. Okay, there we go. Mord definitely correct with the only we only need one cost reducer. So we would have the kill super easily if I hadn't punted. Um, we're still going to get it. It's just this was a lot closer than it needed to be. Yeah, this 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 deck is pretty ridiculous. Where are you? Okay, they're off it. They don't even want to see the... So this is just Blood Moons in. Ringleaders out. Oh, Fanatic's bad here. I guess we could take Thought Seizes? Sorry, I want um, ringleaders over fanatics. Mm, star power, thank you. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay, that's probably about where we would be. If we draw lands, sand's fine. All right. <laughs> Goblin Instigator in Modern wasn't even good enough for Standard. Yes, you can, Jilly. Gilly? Gile? Yeah, you can. The colors that a card is, is only the colors um, that that card is. Gilly, got it. Yikes. I mean, if they just Karn and kill my Vile, like... Or Karn 4, right? But... It is what it is that we... We drew...
Okay. Oh. It's got to be Ulamog in hand, right? Hmm. Yeah, if this is a dismember, maybe I should... Wait, what? All right, that's on me. I should have played differently around this because I had this vial that's going to be on one anyway. Shit. It's fine. We'll just draw another Skirk Prospector right now in the one window where I have to do it. <laughs> so, Frog Toss are in. Prospector in. Runvelt in. <laughs> oh, shoot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Scream at me all you want, Mord. Because now I have to sack the... Yeah. What was I supposed to put in there? We're fine? I don't feel fine. Play instigator by sacking the black guy. Yeah. I mean, we'll see. We have to play instigator first. I mean, we got War Marshal off the top, so. So now we play the War Marshal, right? That gives me three mana. Play the War Chief. But then I'm stuck again. We need another War Marshal. I mean, let's go. So far, this deck has just seemed like it wanted to win this game. So let's just do it. We got the Skirk. That's a redraw. Got it. On the last possible flip. And Pashalic Wands on top. Well. So... I can sack Runvelt to play Goblin Matron. Matron gets um, another more Marshal. The War Marshal lets me cast the next Matron. The Matron gets me another Runvelt, but it doesn't actually fix anything. Does it? So play the Matron by sacking the Runvelt. Get the War Marshal. Play the War Marshal by sacking the Matron. Play Matron. Yeah, run belt. Play run belt.
miss. Okay, so... Yeah. Yeah. No. Okay, so we just attack here. So close. We lost three triggers there. Yeah, but it was it like I had, I would have to go all the way back to the beginning where you were saying that I made a mistake because I. So eight. Yeah, OK. Yeah, I, I see. I see what it. I see where the problem was. This is... oh, okay. Well, let's draw well. Yeah, yeah, I understand more. I see it now. And this is Ugin? Nope. Karn liberated. Man, the deck gave me the win and I just, yeah, I just threw it. I have to keep. No, there's no literal storm payoff, Mr. Poopy Butthole. Uh, you just storm through your deck using um, Run Belt Horn Master. You got it, Mord. Uh, Cranko could be good, but Cranko feels like kind of win more. 
you're definitely right. It's just that, um, I don't know. It, it's definitely something you could try. Yeah, that's... So we go frog tosser first. Grunville. It's a small argument for War Marshal before Horde Master. Is there? You go down a goblin, then you. They have a dismember for horde. Do we want to sack four to try and recombo? Yeah. But then we miss one on the front side. They could also have warping whale, right? The thing is, that's going to put them off of turn three Tron. So. Yeah, it might be worthwhile. The thing is, they have turn three Tron, right? No, they don't. Yes, they do. They have turn three Tron. I'm assuming they kept their hand because they have turn three Tron and a payoff, right? It's not. It's possible that they didn't keep any disruption because they just snapped off a seven. So, yeah, uh, it's it's close. I'm going to go with my read is that they kept turn three Tron with. War chief. Good draw. See if we hit ringleader. No. Okay, there's the ringleader. Oh, I could have done both. It's the same mana cost. Well, it's okay. So here we play Horde Master. Okay. We play Horde Master, sack the ringleader, and just keep going. Woo. Turn three kill in all three games. Yeah, this deck feels a lot like Velomachus, where you have a super powerful combo plan when you run into other linear decks. But you also have the ability to grind them out. It's it's weird. It's a weird comparison because obviously this is like an engine deck, but it. I like how this is permanent based. Uh, I did. I did, Kaya. I did indeed. Uh, in the dark, I'll keep that. I saw some of your swag. Mountain? The hell? M. Hayashi? Yeah, Kaya, you, you gotta try this deck. It's kind of gross. I think you will be the person to 5 with this.
why Velomach has disappeared because it's an inferior version of a of a deck that's popular. That's that's all there is to it. Like anyone who's actually serious about playing modern will just play one of the better versions of creativity. There there's no oh burn again there's no real appeal to playing bellamacus creativity there's nothing you have there is nothing unfortunately i love the deck but you there's no good reason to play it not not one Yeah, what am I playing here? Warchief? It's it's Warchief, right? Because then I can violin, instigator, and attack for five. I think Warchief sets up my future turns better. If they play Eidolon, we can go Violin Matron. Yeah. Get the Tarfire clear the Eidolon. Oh, Orvar is a sideboard card we could... Although... Hold back a 1-1? One, one? Oh, sure. In case they have a... A Sid Freak. Wish humans could fetch Orvar, but we can't. I mean, you could play cards that let you do it. They're not good for the rest of your deck, but you could do it. Yeah, this deck should have an Orvar. Wow. Brutal. Oh! You can play Militia, Bugler. I'm sure there's something else. Hey, Grok. Good. Uh, Bugler doesn't hit Orvar? Oh, Bugler's size? I thought it was for humans. Oh my god. Totally forgot. Anyway, um... I get... the, uh, run belt here, right? Oh no, I can get a I can get a matron and then the run belt and then attack with a million things. I I think what we did there is we went for a matron and then a run belt or 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 yeah, or um or ringleader. Okay. Um Tarfires and furry. Uh I think Mog Fanatic is bad here. Uh, I, I like this better than traditional goblins so far. Uh, it is a little bit more high rollery. One of the things I really didn't like about the original go the, the, uh, the, the, yeah, the, the, the normal goblins deck is just that, uh, the way, oh, we want mass vandal, right? Um. I'm not a huge fan of the way that, like, Kiki Jiki and Conspicuous Snoop are. This is a combo deck. This is 100% a combo deck. The combo is just a non deterministic combo. The combo is Skirk Prospector, Runvelt Horde Master, and uh, Cost Reducers. Those cards together let you draw your entire deck on turn three or four. It's it's Storm, right? No, it's Storm. It's Blue Red Storm. It's a non-deterministic combo deck where well, it's it's classic Blue Red Storm. It's not Gifts Storm. If you were to imagine Storm without Gifts and without um uh what's it called? 
Passing Flames. Well, we've done it a bunch of times, Grok, but yeah, you'll, you'll probably see it. You will see it. Yeah, you'll see it. You'll see it. We've, we've played our entire deck on turn four multiple times. I think on turn three we've killed people. We've just, we haven't drawn our entire deck on turn three. Okay, so here we're going to go play Vile, fetch Tapland. Yeah, we, we did get turn three multiple times, but but we didn't draw our whole deck when we got the turn threes. Uh, I guess, Kaya, you can also look at the other version of my stream decker because we played that last league and it was also good. Oh, that was supposed to be black. It'll be fine, probably. It's fine. Uh, Instigator. Yeah, if we find a Skirk, it's over. And they're flooding? Groovy. You can play Mog there? I know I can. Isn't it better not to? And Violin a Lord on upkeep. Oh, the Horde Master. Yeah, I could have done. Yeah, you right, dog. So here we go in the Banneret. Whoops. Yeah. That's on me. That's fine. Searing blood. So now I play this. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. I, I, I really threw that turn. Yeah. Yeah, they're, they're really, their hand has not been great though. Wow, they're so flooded. Sure. Instigator, tar fire. So, Runvelt. They're dead next turn, right? Now. Yeah. Okay. Uh, we can tar fire this in response. Yeah. So we flipped a banneret. Okay. Okay, whatever. I'll take it. Searing Blood, it's just no substitute for Searing Blaze. That's, oh, we, we didn't storm off, Grok, you didn't miss it. We, we just aggroed them out again. Burn is one of the decks where you're going to aggro them out more than you're going to comp them. Mord, we need to cut all the lands again. I think I'm keeping this. There's just so many powerful things to draw into and like Yeah, down to 16. Yeah, exactly. I probably should have fetched a mountain. I should have fetched a mountain. It's okay. Does Ringleader do anything to the newer Quack? Or whatever the reducer is. 
Pardon? Does Ringleader do anything to the newer whack? I, I don't, yeah, I don't know what that means. Uh, I don't know, Grok. That's what we're here to find out. Goblin, 2-1 for 2 in red. Alternate cost is 1 in red if you cast... Oh, you're, you're talking about Reckless Bushwhacker. Which is not a new card at all. That's why I was confused. You could... Yeah, you could play it, but we're already playing Warchief. Why would you... Why? What do you think that that would do for us? Yeah, it is newer than the old Bushwhacker. I just, it just, what, what do you mean? Does it do anything to Ringleader? Or does Ringleader do anything to it? Like, what does that mean? Does the Ringleader do anything to it? The Ringleader picks it up. Oh, does does Ringleader make it one? Uh, yeah, should do. Yep, should do. Okay, so that, this, do the thing. Yeah, no, sorry. All the cost reducers, yeah. All the cost reducers work with, with the Bushwhacker that way, yes. Hit a second run belt. Okay. Well, if they have fire ice or creativity, we're screwed. But like... Because there's a good chance that Matron for Cost Reducer... Yeah, well, okay, but... No, because I have to Matron for the... I have to Matron for the Skirk, right? We have a top deck Skirk. So you want to Matron for the Banneret? Yeah, okay. That's what I was thinking the plan was. Matron for Skirk. Yeah. Okay. We do also have Peshalik Mons coming in here, so. If they arc on us for two, we go sack token, sack matron, discard courtyard, discard instigator, we could be okay. Yeah, I mean, we're getting close to being able to combo. Oh, they can use Renin 6 to clear our board, though, even with the... If, so if they have double arc on and they use the Renin 6 ping, then, then we get wiped out and then we lose. But this is going to be a tough matchup anyway. Yeah, uh, uh, Skirk, Cost Reducer, and Runvelt Horde Master. Uh, but you also need chaff. Like, you also need more bodies. Which is why attrition-style matchups are... Like, any deck that's playing a bunch of bolts...
Just do it. Oh, that's not it. Good. Okay, so is is Instigator better on this board than Pashlik Mons? Yeah, I think we leave the Violon too. So here we can go play Prospector, play War Chief, play Horde Master. Start by filing an instigator, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have a land drop? Oh yeah, thank you. Don't know why that wasn't on my radar. Yeah. That's the plan, Grok. It looks like they have some kind of interaction, which is not shocking. It's probably Leyland Binding. Could easily be Bolt. Bolt. Perfect. Uh, yeah, yeah, I only want to sack the Prospector. Well, if they have a second removal spell, we're fucked. Yeah. There's, there's literally nothing we could do about that. That's just them having the nuts. Um, they had literally the perfect hand for us and there's there's there is nothing nothing i can do about it i could sack two goblins to play pashalik mons uh and then uh, There's nothing I can do, huh? The, the I mean, they had to have two one mana pieces of removal that were relevant against our deck. It was very easy for them to have a spell pierce instead of one of those cards or whatever. But they also didn't have creativity. Uh, no, you have Pashlik Mons Grok, which you you can just kill them with. What what are we supposed to do? So if they have nothing, they still kill my prospector. So I'm pretty sure I'm supposed to attack Renin Six with these four. Which kills the Ren 6. Which means I get to keep the Prospector. And everything else is a lot more disposable.
Well, Chain Whirlers can't be reduced to below three. I think Chain Whirler is, would only ever be a sideboard card for this deck. Unless you had some very specific reason to play it. A Chain Whirler is just not... Yeah, but what what are you sideboarding Chain Whirler against? I just can't imagine what modern deck you'd need it against. Or even too many where it's good. I mean, this is the Ren and Six format. People are already pretty heavily disincentivized from playing one toughness creatures, so I don't... Bitter Union, discard Archon. <laughs> well, they can't haste the Archon anyway, Mord. So they are going to have true two treasure tokens available. So... Yeah. Damn it. Punt, 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 punt. Fuck. All right, we're dead. They have more? Oh, whatever. Oh, well, yeah, I shouldn't have scooped. Okay, it's okay. We weren't drawing a ringleader. Tar fires are great here. Uh, are they? I know they're like okay, but like Yeah, I none I understand why. I'm just Yeah, I don't I don't like Vile ever. Literally ever, but like I think we have to keep playing the Vials, right? I don't think realistically we can not play the vials. All right, that's not good enough. That's better. I think I think I'm just hard mulling for Blood Moon at this point. Even turn three, it's fine. Ugh. God, why is this a five? All right, there, there's. I'm just going for a hard for blood mint. All right, that's it. Land. I mean, this could get there.
Land. Cool. Yeah, I don't want to lose a goblin during combat. And get bricked out. Yeah, that's something I like a lot about this version, Grok, is just the fact that you... It seems to just be a reasonable beatdown deck in a way that other versions just didn't feel like they were to me. Like, as bad as War and Instigator and such are, of course they have the... Um, why no Chieftain, Squeed, Dubious, Monarch? There's just not any room at the moment. I mean, the Mog Fanatics are flex slots that I don't like right now. I, I really don't like Mog Fanatic. I haven't liked it at all this league, and I haven't ever won it. So, like, those, you could play uh, a Goblin Chieftain. You could play a Squee. Squee seems nuts here. The new one? It's okay. I don't think it seems nuts. I think it's all right. Uh, they can lay line binding now. We really needed a tar pyre for this goblin shaman token. Old Squee is infinite when you're comboing, I guess. No? I don't think that's true at all. You mean old, old Squee that I don't know if it's modern legal or not? Or Dominaria Squee, which... Yeah. There's three squeeze, right? Yeah, the mask squee is legal, right? But it just doesn't do anything interesting for... Fuck. You know what? I, I just... I don't want to play this. I don't I don't care. It's fine. You can you can have it. The, it's the Dominaria Squee. The original Dominaria Squee. Dominaria Dominaria Squee. Right? That's the one we want. Oh, for, you can cast it from your graveyard. Okay, sorry, sorry, sorry. I for some reason I for some reason I completely forgot that you can cast it from your graveyard because all the weird shit is when you cast it from exile. Okay, amulet should be an okay matchup just because we can race them. Now, I know the new Squee, I just don't imagine that it's that good for this deck. Well, there is looking just as fast. Yeah. Yeah. This just lets us stockpile mana. They've got double amulet. If they just play if, if they play a Titan, we're dead. If they show me the Titan, I'm dead.
That's not a Titan. The thing about a card being playable doesn't mean it's like the best choice for the slot, though. All right, we're dead. Vandal and Trash Master. Oh, yeah. That makes sense. What is M.E.? Is someone is M.E. a card? Munitions Expert. Okay, okay. I've, I've never seen M.E. for Munitions Expert before. Uh, not good enough. Not good enough? Yeah, this deck I think should have one Munitions Expert instead of one of the Mog Fanatics. Yeah, we're going to five for sure. That's the hand. It's not good, but the hand. Okay. I mean, that's why we mold to it, right, Mord? Like, there's not... <laughs> I mean, I don't think it's really, like, a... I don't... I don't... I would love our opponent to be like, Oh, you're so lucky you have the Blood Moon there. It's like... I mean, we mold to five. I sure, I sure goddamn hope so. Can't believe your creativity deck put Archon into play. It's possible I should play the second Blood Moon this turn, but I don't imagine that they boarded in um, Force of Vigor or um, uh, Nature's Claim. Yeah, they're so lucky to hit the big creatures when they creativity. I can't believe it. And it's like every time, too. All right, next turn, clock picks up. <laughs> <Ooh. laughs> Do they have two sages? I doubt it.
Well then. Woof. That is some bad quality. Oh, whoops. Oh, I missed the frog tosser. So I should have played the war chief this turn. No, no, this does more damage. This does more damage. Yeah, this is more damage. I, I, I figured it out. Okay, on the draw, I want these thought seizes. I think I want to board out. I know. What black cost reducers does goblins get? Um. Is this crazy? Yes, but this matchup sucks anyway, so let's... Well, it, it doesn't suck, but I think this is the right way to sideboard. I think you want eight cost reducers in the main deck to combo consistently, but like... Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, I, I didn't... Yeah. I think we mull this. They kept their seven... Uh, you think we were supposed to keep the seven or you want to keep this one? I guess this combo is really fast. If we hit. No, we, we, we moved the trash master here. For sure. Yeah. <laughs> there's no, there's no way you keep trash master over a matron here. All right. So they got the turn three. So, oh, oh, if we hit a land. Do it. Yes, yes. Play a second saga. Do it. Let's save you. Eh. <gasps> if we hit a land. Oh, when it's good, it's so good. <laughs> Woo! Ah. So oh, I, I had a, did I have a Mog War Marshal in hand? I did, didn't I? Yeah, my bad, Mord. I was so blinded by the actually picking up the land there. No, 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 it, it's, it's, it's 100% correct. Yeah, yeah. Kahira? I got Cavern and two Vials and a Matron for Ringleader. Let's go. Sling Gang is definitely playable here. The question is, do you want to play Sling Gang? Uh, I think the current 
feeling is that it's not better than anything we're playing for comboing and it's a four mana card so yes you can play sling gang but do you want to play sling gang i don't think you want to you can yeah it's four mana and it's black so those are two things against it yeah I, I would kill to play Siege Gang Commander, but again, five mana. It's really, really not good. Oh no. I, I love Siege Gang Commander more than anything. God, I love Siege Gang Commander. But it's just not a good card. <laughs> yeah, Lackey would be, Lackey would make me play Siege Gang Commander. It wouldn't be good, but I'd do it. So are we against four color Renin Six? I assume. Already made a pray for lackey post in the Discord server. Ringo? Oh my god, please, please tell me we're gonna start calling him Ringo. Cause then now we need to find goblins we can call John, Paul, and George. Oh no, my Aether Vial. You always call them Ringo? Never heard you call them Ringo before. I'm okay with it, I'm just telling you I haven't heard it. Think it's time to draw some goblins. Ah! Mord. Mord, my soul. Well, if we lose to control, I guess it's really over. Because they can hard cast Solitude now. Fecundity used to be a Horde Master thing. Yeah. You can. You can play that card. It's a legal Magic the Gathering card. Here's, they're going to hard cast Solitude. And I'm going to want to scoop. I'm not going to scoop, but I want to scoop. I want to scoop. The freaking dress down. Blech. Mock Fanatic sucks. To be fair, we haven't played against a single, uh, Ragavan decks, so. I mean, yeah, this deck is just a much better uh, aggro deck. It's also a better ringleader deck with four ringleaders. No. I'm off it. I don't, I don't want to play any more of that game.
The thing is, when you say Ape Whack, I think of a deck that doesn't have any ability to grind. This deck has a huge ability to grind. Vandal, for what? Leyline Binding? Yeah, okay. I can play it as a one of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What can this deck play that 8-whack can't? Banner it? No, Ringleader. You can't play Ringleader in 8-whack. Please show me your deck list where you're playing Ringleader in 8-whack. And if you are, you're crazy. You're, you're nuts. Yeah, 8-whack is a keep your opening hand and pray deck. Like, it's playing Bolts and Goblin Grenades. Yeah, this is a mull. Yeah, but it's not a full-on aggro deck. It's like a suicide aggro deck. It's actually, Mord, I would say it's really, really close between plan A and plan B. Like, the, the two, like, the aggro plan and the combo plan in this deck are surprisingly close together. Yeah, exactly. Uh you put to, you you flip your entire deck into play Grok with four lords. You can't do infinite, but you could do 50. We've attacked for 32 on turn 4 and we could have done more. So play Horde Master. They can counter this. Might have Dress Down. Play Horde Master, then counter this. They might have Dress Down. Well, we're playing four Lords. In, in my opinion, a Lord is a creature that gives plus one, plus one to the creatures of that creature type. We're only playing four of that. War Chief is not a Lord in that sense. War Chief does not give a, a, a power type this bonus. It does give you haste. But haste is, uh, yeah. No, because if Warchief was a lord, it would be the most obscene lord ever printed. Okay. 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 Um, file... So... Goblin King's just bad. That's why we're not playing that. The cost reduction is why we're playing War Chief. Did War Chief have the creature type Lord back in the No. It and I assume it still doesn't. Goblin War Chief is from Scourge. That's way after Lords were a creature type. Also, at the time, goblins were mostly jobless. Goblin unemployment is a serious issue facing this country. We're going to get verdicted, aren't we? Oh, no verdict. <clears throat> Six looks and hope. What looks do I have? I have no looks. Oh, you mean if they verdicted me? Yes, yeah, yeah. Bring it on, Titan O'Clock. Yeah, an Archomancer would have made the moon cheaper. Well, they're on Solitude, man. This game's probably over.
if they play a solitude, I'm just scooping. I don't care. I just don't. This draw, these draws have been so bad. Good lord. And they, they were missing two colors. Brutal. So two three twos. Uh, uh, yeah, it's. I mean, I'm not going to blame the deck for that. How does humility work with the gods? Does it remove the devotion text and they just stay enchantments? No, it, that because it only removes uh, abilities from creatures. So the deck has potential. The deck is great. Um, I so I hate Mog Fanatic. I hate Mog Fanatic. I, I don't want to play this card until combat damage goes back on the stack.